I'm Leon Poindexter, and here we are at the drafting table at the uh, Gloucester Marine Railways. Uh, here we have the, uh, the Beaver as she first arrived in Gloucester. And during this rebuild, we're taking the opportunity to make some substantial changes to her stern and her aft quarter to make her more authentic. These changes that we're making to the stern are based on uh, research of drawings of that period. Uh, I've made some copies of drawings and paintings, and this is showing the area that we're working on. This is actually a, a, the Columbia herself, and this is the part here that we're rebuilding, and we're changing this rail. We're adding uh, the bulwarks in here, and these are the, the main changes that we're making to the stern to make her more authentic. First of all, we're going to increase the rail height because the rail height before was only about 24 inches. As we come back in here, we're going to build up the rail. Now this part in here is the bulwark, and we're going to completely fill this in. And this was the same as her sister ship, the Columbia, uh, which is a ship that we have uh, drawings of that we're basing our work on. And then, of course, Beaver was black before. We're filling all this area here. It's all going to be painted uh, yellow. And then in the stern, we've cut down the top of this. We've taken off the, the uh, carvings. The carvings themselves were rather nice, but had nothing to do with this particular period. Uh, this period, the vessels were much more simple. And of course, this being a vessel that was owned by the Quakers, wouldn't have had nearly the uh, the heavy carving that the uh, that the earlier vessels had. So all this area here, this is all going to get filled in. We're going to remove uh, carving in this area and build this part in here up where we've got the uh, the railing, and also underneath here, we're doing the uh, planking it up under here as well. Okay, in the end. Uh, this is what we're going to have. This is the beaver. This is the area that we're working on. This is the stern. And this, in particular, this part down in here is what we've been rebuilding. And now we'll go down to the shipyard and we'll see what Rob has been up to. Here we are at the stern of the beaver. And as you can see, some of the changes that we had on the drawing board. Uh, we've taken off a lot of the carving. We've built up the sides here. We've got a new design around the windows. And the bottom part here, we've taken off the, uh, the carving and the curved area. It's all been new frames. This is what Rob's been working on. It's new frames and new planking. And this area here has been substantially rebuilt. Well, what we've done on this lower section of the transom here is we've put in new frames to get the curvature that we want uh, for historical accuracy. Um, we also have a curvature going from side to side because we never do anything straight. And that's too hard. Um, and after the frames have been put in and fared, uh, we then planked it. Unlike a lot of parts of the boat, this was actually rather straightforward because it's, you know, the planks are so straight, there really wasn't much to shaping them uh, except for the very bottom plank and the very top plank. And then we've, we've fastened them to the frames and we're, the next step will be caulking. 